this is a quick video on REVPAR versus REVPAR index and to understand the difference in those ratios. It's a continuation of our, our discussion from previous videos on occupancy, REVPAR, and ADR and these key statistics in the hotel industry. It's a reminder that this is simply a ratio and not rocket science. It's helpful for each of us to learn as hospitality managers to drive our careers and to drive the business forward. To review, REVPAR is simply taking room revenue and divided by available rooms or room revenue per available room. Also, you can take average daily rate or ADR and multiply it by occupancy to achieve your REVPAR statistic. One thing to understand is REVPAR does not equal REVPAR index. If you were to be asked what is REVPAR, you could simply go to your profit and loss statement and pull it off there from your key statistics section. For this instance, it would be $128.23. If you were asked, you would just answer $128.23. Index, however, is not on your P&L, so you would have to go to the STAR report, an independently published report that comes from the STAR Corporation, and in which takes your REVPAR and, and divides it by your competitive set REVPAR to give you an index. So in this instance, you would say my REVPAR index is 125. It's not $125, it's just 125 or 125%. It simply, again, takes your property's rev bar and divides it by your competitive sets rev bar. You can look at it for several things, not just rev bar, but occupancy index, ADR index, transient demand index, or really anything else. Uh, to better understand, if you were to take a look at the city that your hotel's in or your competitive set, regardless if it's in your city or not, and you could look at your hotel via your P&L or historical documents, but if you truly wanted to understand your hotel's performance relative to other hotels in your competitive set, you would need your rev part index, not just your rev part performance. Or in other words, if you wanted to ask, is your rev part good, you could look at your P&L and say, well, perhaps I'm up to last year, but perhaps down to budget. Truly, I don't know, though. I don't have enough information. If you went to a STAR report, again, this is not in conjunction with the P&L, so the numbers don't match that P&L. But you could see that the rev part here is 125, and you could compare that to year-to-day results or running three months results. You could also look at different segments and truly understand more appropriately if you're winning or losing in the, in the market share game. This is also important in managing agreements and is, is included in many termination thresholds. For that reason, it's a number that glows in the dark. As you learn more about REPAR index, you'll be better at driving strategy, better at taking care of your guests and your associates. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to call or email me in Global Outlook. Thank you.